I'm back with a monthly update on Cosmic Desktop, the Rust Edition. Cosmic's December updates bring amazing news, which I'm excited to go through with you. There's some awesome quality of life improvements being made here, such as the multi-window support, which we're going to get into. I'm sure you're excited as well, so let's jump right in. Happy Cosmic Day for over a year now. We've been plugging away, unplugging and plugging back at Cosmic Desktop Environment. The new desktop environment for Pop! OS and other distributions. That's right. It was announced in the last November update that Cosmic is being made available for other distributions and already starting to be ported for two special distributions, NixOS, which we have people like Nico heading, as well as Acai Linux. Two awesome distributions getting the Cosmic desktop environment as well. As a wrap up in 2023, we're making headway on the text editor, multi-monitor support, settings implementations, and more. Have a look. Manage windows with your mouse. Right-clicking a windows title bar provides the option to move, resize, stack, tile, or float, and take a screenshot of the window. Adding another layer of convenience to the window management in, in Cosmic Desktop, shortcuts are listed along these options where applicable. So this wonderful improvement allows us to have access to very intuitive options for each window. Not only can we do things that are typical like move and maximize, but you can choose whether or not you want to be floating the current window, toggling between floating and tiling mode for each window. This makes it easier to use tiling window management in the Pop! OS space for those of us who are unfamiliar with some of the shortcuts. I like the way that they are making these quality of life and improvements, especially for beginners. It's wonderful to see. They also allow you to create a stacked window. Moving on to the Cosmic Text Editor, but what better way than to experience the changes for this one than directly from the source? All right, so I'm going to start up a terminal here on my Cosmic Rust build using Pop! OS, and I've updated the Cosmic Edit package in order to test it out. So I'm going to launch it real quick, and here we go. It looks similar to what we've had in the past, but there are new exciting updates for this one. First off, I'm gonna open up a project. I have this simple list, which is my own project with some Git source control. The newest thing that's been added is Git integration. In order to show you this, I go down to file and Git management. And what you'll notice on the right hand side now is it says make file, unstage changes. Yes, they're keeping current Git status and tracking changes with diffs. You can go to your files now and even see highlights of changes that you've made inside of your files through this new Git management and integration. Fantastic for those of us who are programming. We've, we now have Git built into the new Cosmic text editor. Another great feature they've added, if you go over to edit and then find in project, you can now search your projects. Let's say I wanted to find something like G++. I would expect it to be in the make file, which it is. And if I click on that, my line gets selected. I really like how they show the various different locations as well as a snippet of what actually occurs in those various different locations or files. So for example, in the main CPP file, these are some things that are listed that relate to my search. Anyways, if I clicked on one, it takes me directly to the CPP file on that line that I have selected. Fantastic stuff. If I wanted to search something a little more specific, for example, username not supplied. There we go. Very specific now on this line 16, which gets highlighted every time I click on it. Not only does it get highlighted, but the actual portion of what I wrote in the search is what's highlighted, including anything after it. Fantastic work by the System76 team. This is going to be awesome to use in the future. Moving back to the blog, Cosmic Text Editor. The text editor was expanded upon even more this month. Now you can double click to highlight a word, triple click to highlight a whole line, and plus spacing in the tree view was reduced for easier navigating we've added two major features. First off, we already checked this one out, but it is the search projects feature. We've added a context drawer for searching projects. Click file to open it or to jump to it if it's already open. Again, I think they've done a wonderful job in the way that they not only show the project search results, but the way that they've located it in the corner away from your main coding workspace. The Cosmic Editor is starting to become quite the developer's dream. It also seems to be becoming more and more like an IDE. I wonder if they're going to add in debugging support directly into the text editor. 
We'll see, but for now they have Git integration. Now you can view the current Git status and track changes with diffs. The diff feature makes mark deletions in red and additions in green. For a better look here of someone working on a project, they have their unstaged changes here on the right, stage changes right below, and then you'll see red versus the lines that they've gotten rid of and green for the lines that they're adding. I know I didn't get to showcase that, but you can see it here in the screenshot provided. Let's get excited for Cosmic Desktop. Make sure to smash that like button for me for more videos like this. Let's continue on to multi-monitor improvements. While there are already a shortcut for moving individual windows to another display, you can now set a shortcut to move entire workspaces to another display as well. When a shortcut is used to move from the current display to the next or previous display, it's now easier for users to tell which display that will be thanks to new logic. The system determines this output based on the positioning of all connected displays, whereas previously this was determined by the order in which the displays were connected. Furthermore, the code was added for windows to migrate between displays based on connectivity. When a display is connected, the window will migrate to a connected display. If the display is reconnected, that window will migrate back to the original display. Bugs surrounding the window focus in multi-monitor setups and x Wayland applications were wholly squashed and hopefully repelled. Wallpaper settings. The wallpaper settings panel is now fully implemented. The finishing touches include custom wallpaper colors and images, plus the ability to change the active background image folder. In addition, the wallpaper slideshows are now supported on lock and login screens. Up next for implementation, the display settings panel. With that said, let's go back to the build just to check out the fully functioning setting screen for the desktop wallpaper. Here's what things look like right now. If you've used Pop! OS, you're gonna be familiar with this wallpaper setting screen, but now you can set if you want the same background on all displays or you wanna manage them individually, whether or not you're gonna be stretched, zoomed, or fit to stretch. If you want the slideshow feature, which just means changing between images every few minutes, which you can set below, this is also implemented as well. Then you have the system backgrounds as well as just plain old colors if you want to select them. I like the system backgrounds that they have available. I'm just going to select one and then eventually I'll probably change back to the slideshow view because I do like it changing the wallpaper every once in a while. Great additions from Pop! OS. Let's keep moving on to the multi-window support. A rebase of our version of the ICE Toolkit added support for opening multiple windows of the same application. While this support has already been present for shell apps such as settings, this support has expanded in to include libcosmic applications like Cosmic's text editor that use a cross-platform win, win it backend. Bluetooth and Impress fixes a couple of bugs regarding applets were caught and fixed. The Bluetooth applet now reflects its status correctly being on and off more reliably. When multiple media players are in use, such as when a user switches from a YouTube video in the browser to their playlist in, in Spotify, we've ensured that Impres now switches the active media player. High resolution scroll event support was added to Cosmos Compositor and Smith A for scrolling in smaller increments, less than one scroll wheel click with a compatible mouse. Single instance application support, we've expanded single instance application support to both the launcher and the application library with single instance application support if an application is called upon while already open. It will navigate to the requested page rather than open that page in a new window. A few more quality of life updates to Pop! OS. This is for 22.04, the long-term support edition. Pop! OS is getting some important maintenance as well not just the Cosmic desktop environment. So here are just a few things they showcased. A bug was fixed involving systems with hybrid AMD graphics that were causing Steam to crash. Our Steam packaging was updated. Meanwhile, the essential updates help keep Pop! OS current. They have Pipewire version one, Wire Plumber 0.4, and Meza 23.3. Linux 6.6 .6 has been released as well, bringing about the end of days, raining fire upon the lands and setting in motion a new era some may call 2024. May the cosmic entities save us all. Have a happy holiday, a jovial new year, and stay vigilant for the next round of cosmic updates in January, which I'm super looking forward to. Of course, the System76 team hard at work again. And since you stuck around for this long, I do want to make some mention of the terminal as well. It's been receiving some love as well. A few things that the team has mentioned 
is that they are working on a GPU accelerated terminal right now. It has full support for ligatures and bi-directional text. This is something that GNOME Terminal lacks and just shows you how the Pop! OS team helps improve the desktop components for us all. Let me know in the comments section if you're planning on using Pop! OS on your desktop eventually. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.